Greetings to all of you that are listening to this broadcast today. I'm real happy to come to you today and share the news all over social media, all around the world, and thank you for tuning in today. I've got a very sobering message today. It, 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 it uh, really is sad for me because I want to talk to you about has America gone too far? I think that uh, it's such a thought for me to think about. I love this country. I love the United States of America. I like everything it stands for. I like the principles that we were brought into this world. I'm glad for our heritage, we Christian heritage that we have. But there's many things that are threatening that today that are threatening to pull down everything that we stand for. One of the first things I want to mention to you is abortion. That's become a sad dilemma in this country where millions of babies are murdered every day in this country. It's sad. I think the, I think the dirt cries out with the blood spilled over all these babies and no, no telling what they could have become. But I think it's a sad thing when a nation has allowed itself to kill their own children. And I'm, I'm really sad about that. And there's other things that I, I, I want to discuss to you about. Pornography has become a dilemma all across the world. Networks are trying to do their best to compete for business. And a lot of the things that they're sharing today is just simply pitiful. What's bad about it is a lot of children are being exposed to all this stuff that's going in the home today. We need a revival. We need, we need a coming back to God in this country. And you know, alcohol is a major reason why there's many accidents on the highway and many deaths are caused and attributed to alcohol. I've always had the feeling that uh, the best way to deal with alcohol is just not to, just to touch it and leave it alone because it, uh, it, can, it can reach up and really hurt you. And it seems like it's addictive and it will get a hold of you if you allow it to. And then drug abuse falls under that same headline. Yeah, there's so much drugs going around today. Even in prescription medicines, there's things that people can get addicted to. Folks, I want to tell you what. It's a, we need uh, something to happen in this nation to get us back to the basic fundamentals of Christianity and what stands for in the Word of God. And then uh, on television today, there are so many movies today all across the network that are showing violence of all time. It seems like there's people who are just hungry to see things, thirsty for blood. I want to tell you what, that was a sign of the decay in the original world when we were going through there. The reason that God destroyed uh, destroyed the world with a flood is because one thing that he cited was violence was everywhere. And, you know, we need to protect our families. You know, the family issues are very important and our values are very important. So we need to keep those principles alive in our lives. And then I want to talk to you again about the morals. Uh, it seems like that uh, morals have been on an all-time decay. Now we, the family has been attacked in every way. Uh, the, I believe in a mother and a father in the home and a family, raising children, blessings of God. And I'll tell you what, I stand for traditional marriage, and I will always stand for it. I don't criticize those who are, are uh, doing other things. But folks, I want to tell you, we all stand before God, before what we have to do. Some of those things have been made law in our country, and it's a great regret to me. But folks, I want to tell you, any law that's made in this nation that doesn't line up with the Word of God is wrong as far as I'm concerned. And so we need to stand by the principles that make us made us a great nation. And you know, one of the great things about God is He offer, offers us repentance. If you're listening to this broadcast today and some of these things have gripped your life, you know there's help in Jesus. He offers you hope. You know that the Word of God always offers us hope. And I'm not talking to a lot of people across the nation that uh, live a good Christian life. I believe there's good families out there. There's good people out there. And I want to tell you what, we need to really stand for the standards of God's Word. I believe in God's Word with all of my heart. I believe it's the thing that's going to get us to heaven. There is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. I want to, I want to make it to that beautiful city. I, I tell the Lord about that every day. I want to make it to that beautiful city. It's going to be a wonderful place. 
for all these things that I mentioned to do today, I, I, it's sad that I can mention all these things. Maybe that something y'all have said today will be a blessing to you. Please like and comment. I appreciate you subscribing to me on YouTube and other outlets across the network. And thank you so much for tuning into this broadcast, and I'll talk to you again real soon.